Okay, everybody, I think this is like number eight. This is going to probably be a quick one. I'm just going to kind of describe what I'm doing here. And basically, what I did was I got the LED in its housing. I put uh, the pin back in. Let me see if I can pull all this stuff out. Okay, and got one half of the housing. I stuck uh, one of the pins in. That is the short pin that goes in that last uh, pin holder. Put the housing in, uh, actually. Let me just do this the way I, I actually did it. I put the LED in first. And this is how the LED actually sits in there. And um, Put that all back in there. Because basically I want to make sure that I have enough wire. I want to make sure that my wire link's right. Especially on this neutral or the common coming back. I want to make sure that I don't have to add any wire to that. Got the clash sensor we still have to deal with. I made all my connections and my heat shrinks over here on, on the, uh, the switch and the soundboard so all this half of the board is done basically now what we're doing is I added in the resistor and that is a 3.3 uh, a ohm I think I checked the other day I add that in and that's going to go to red so this is going to come around here and hook up to the red down down below here green is going to go to the green on the LED blue will go to the blue and then the uh, brown uh, light brown will actually go to the common of the LED and then I'm going to um, glue the uh, the shock sensor into place there and uh, then that's it at that point uh, we're done we we encapsulate everything back in together um, put the pins back in put the blades back in uh, and uh, put it back in the holder and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make these solder connections up and I'll do one more just to show you what the solder connections look like when it's all done and, and everything all together. And then uh, we'll do the final uh, uh, put together and power up.